You remember how fun it was to play with toys as a kid? You'd pose them, you'd put them through all these different scenarios. And bringing those figures to life was fun. Part of the fun of animation is bringing characters to life by making them act out all sorts of scenarios in the same way. In this video, I want to talk about Rig Theory. Good rig theory will make the difference between an appealing all-purpose rig that you can get a lot of animation mileage out of quickly and easily and a graphic that loses its appeal after just a short amount of screen time. The summary of this topic is to explore what kinds of setup a rig needs to have so that we can get as much animation footage out of it as possible. Well, 2D animation has come a long way since the pegboard days. And even though, to this day, 2D animation includes productions as far back as the 1920s, modern, traditional animation is remarkably different from its forefathers. In this video, I want to talk about a category of 2D animation called puppet animation. So with puppet animation, think of what it's like to pose a paper doll that has pins in the joints. Well, a 2D puppet rig is a digital version of that. But what I want to talk specifically about today is rig theory. How can we create an all-purpose rig that is suitable for all occasions? My Little Pony, the Wild Kratts, Jake and the Neverland Pirates, and the Fixit Keys, just to name a few, use really intelligent production design to create a whole world of characters and many, many, many hours of animation footage with a relatively small amount of artwork. A puppet, just by nature of it reusing artwork, means that you're going to get a lot of animation footage out of it. So what makes a good rig? In my view, there are five criteria that make for a perfect all occasions rig. Number one, the character is set in a three quarter front pose. The three quarter front pose is the most versatile of all the poses in a model sheet. In this three quarter front pose, you can have the character walk, run, sit, jump, talk, act, gesture, fidget. This pose lends itself to all sorts of events and scenarios. If the artwork is set up well, you can even have two characters standing opposite each other and have them talking to each other both in three-quarter front poses. Criteria number two, stylized anatomy and design. If your rig is too detailed, it's going to reduce the amount of footage that you can get out of it. There are some really beautiful things that are done in Spine 2D and in the After Effects DUIK where an illustration is cut up and then put together as a rig. But the trade-off of that is where you have high visual appeal because you have this really rich illustration, but you can't do very much with the character. You really are kind of left to this kind of floaty, ambient kind of animation, which is fine and beautiful for those purposes. What I'm trying to talk about here is an all-purpose, all-occasions rig that you can use for both subtle acting and for action. Criteria number three, having nested artwork on the feet and hands is going to allow you more versatility. Speed. You could almost say this is the result of having these other criteria met, but I would say it's important to be able to get a lot of animation footage out of these characters. I'll tell you a quick, quick story. Years ago, I was working on an animated web series. It was a dream project. It was a dream come true. Got to bring characters to life, got to you know work and develop this intellectual property over years. It was awesome. But what took me completely by surprise was the amount of work that was needed to bring this thing to life. Or as I look at the project now, um, the animation aspect of this webtoon was, I would say, really weak. And part of that is because so much of our effort went to art creation instead of the actual animation. I relate that because a perfect all occasions rig would have saved us so much time because we could have spent more of that time animating the characters and bringing them to life than spending the time to create art just to illustrate and describe the scene. A huge learning lesson for me there. And I hope to save you some trouble by relating that. So the fifth and I would say the most important criteria is an intelligent rigging method. Layer parenting, which is a method of linking and connecting the different symbols and the elements of your character, is awesome. It's fast, 
it's reliable, it's very straightforward, and it is a method that I use when I'm in a crazy hurry. But a far more intelligent and robust method of rigging is flash power tools. As you'll see easily from my channel, I love this tool. It is an amazing, amazing tool. Gosh, it's like, where do I start? An intelligent rigging system is absolutely required to get the maximum amount of animation footage out of your rig. <laughs> animation is a gift from God. Whether you're watching it or creating it, animation just brings out the child in us. 2D animation is not going anywhere, but the expensive and time-consuming nature of this art form makes it harder and harder and creates steeper and steeper barriers for new talent and independent artists to tell stories using that medium. But an intelligent animation production design that uses a 2D puppet and solid rigging theory will allow independent creators to take control of their ideas and help share their inner worlds with the world around them. This is part of the reason that I'm so excited, and this is why I feel rigging theory is so important. Rig theory is important because for those of us who can't afford the time to draw many, many dozens or many, many hundreds of frames of animation, rig theory is the difference between bringing your creations to life and succeeding as a storyteller and watching your dreams die slowly in the dark. If you like this video, please help me get the word out about Flash Power Tools. These are just independent developers that are bringing some love to Adobe Animate. I would love to see more attention on this amazing plugin. I'll pop a link to their channel and to their website in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you next time.